This is the Magic 14.5. It's a uh, sit on top, kind of unique. It's all open. There's no real hatches in this kayak, but it works really well on my offshore kayak fishing here. Going to go down the kayak and explain everything I got in here. First, we got our fish bag. The fish bag will hold up to about 60 pounds of fish. It is insulated. I got water bottles in there, and uh, any reason I get caught offshore, the water bottles act as the uh, emergency water for me once they start thawing out. Here we got our fish finder with GPS. Well, in the back of the kayak, I got my rods on my rocket launcher, and this is the key to offshore kayak fishing and having good tackle. I got the Pen Torque 100 International. I got that set up for live bait for sailfish. Then I'll switch it over for deep jigging later on using the Torque International Jigging Rod. This is a sweet outfit. It can handle a big fish. I can get fish amberjacks up to 60 pounds off this outfit. And the uh, rod and reel that I'm really excited about here and using is the Pen Conquer. This reel here is a 7000 series but it's honestly about the size of most 5000 series reels. This thing has an impressive 32 pounds of drag, which will really come in handy when you bring a big grouper or a big amberjack off the wrecks. It really does come in handy. I got that one set up. I got the 5000 series set up too for king. I'm using shore lures. These things have been incredibly good, especially on the tuna. It's got glow on one side. And it's got uh, silver and pink or silver or blue on the other side. And these things have been working extremely well on the amberjacks. Also the tuna. I did get a bluefin tuna on this as well as skipjack and the blackfin tuna. So this has been the go-to bait for me. I've been going out to about 300 feet, dropping it down on a ledge. It comes up to 220 and the tuna have been stacked in there. But excellent bait. And uh, we're getting ready to launch now. As you can see, beautiful day out here. Launching from the beach off Palm Beach is no problem at all. Generally, this is how I launch when the surf is like this. It's beautiful. Come in, I may have a one foot chop, but uh, it's not bad at all. If it's any rougher, generally I'll keep some small baits with me. I'll fish the inside for snook, tarpon, jack, there's spinner sharks. There's plenty of fish on the inside in the Lake Worth Lagoon if it's too rough to go offshore. The weathermen, you never know. Sometimes they say two foot or less, it's like this. Sometimes I say two, four or less, and it's like three to four. So you got to be prepared. You don't want to come all the way down here and find out it's a lot rougher than what you expected. But uh, we're getting ready to launch. Target fish is going to be sailfish, and then we're going to hit the wrecks for some amberjack and maybe some tuna and uh, kingfish or two. We'll see how we do. Let's see what we got. See in color. Benita, I think. Yeah, Benita. Little Benita, you find a lot of them out here. You hope for, for tuna, but you do get the Benitas every once in a while. about fishing the ledge, you don't have to worry about the wreck. A lot less structure for the fish to cut you off on. So, when you work a ledge, it gives you a little better opportunity to get a fish up. Especially a fish of any size. There we 
I go. Hammer check over the ledge. Just hooked up again on the ledge. Might be an abaco instead of an amber jack. Not fighting quite as hard as the other one. But you never know. Sometimes you get these fish halfway up and then they decide they don't like your kayak and they uh, head back down. 100 is the key. It's just the right size. A little bit bigger than a bait caster. Extreme power. 28 pound drag and uh, team it up with a torque jigging rod and you got a great combo. It also could be great for pulling big snook off bridges. Great for tarpon. And you can bring some pretty big bottom fish off the bottom with this little reel. It makes it a lot of fun. What do we got here? Ah, grouper. Okay, it's baby grouper. I'll say 230 feet. I'm gonna have to vent this fish. And uh showing again. Still working the ledge. 230 feet of water. Might be another grouper. Seeing some color. I think it's a king. Hold on. Yeah, it's king. Getting a little everything today. Do you have any better luck than that last time I tried to bring a king on board? Of course, this is a smaller, smaller king. Here we go. King. Spots on it. Look at those spots. That's a cool looking fish. Good eating size. Got something on the trolling rod. Trolling, trolling a broken back bomber. Starting to see a little color. Let's see what we got. Neither or a tuna, I can't really tell, but uh, we'll find out here shortly. Pin yeah. conkers are just sweet reels, I'll tell you, these spinning reels really do work good. Drag super smooth. If you really need to put the heat on the fish, it has the drag to back it up. What we got here? Ah, nice, nice tuna. That's what I like to see. There we go. Okay. That nice, nice little black fin tuna. Makes the day right there. Well, the winds are kicking up. The cold front's coming through. It's definitely dropping temperature. Looks like some storm clouds are rolling in. So, uh, got kingfish, amberjack, bonitas, grouper, and uh, black fin tuna. That was the final catch. So, we're going to troll this plug on the way in. See, we hope that sailfish. If not, still a good day. And, uh, well, we made it back in. Not a bad day. We got grouper, amberjack, bonita, blackfin tuna, kingfish. The thing that really helped was out there for about uh, five hours. The seat that native have, I'll tell you what, man, that makes all the difference in the world. If you look at the seat, it's sitting above the floor line, so you don't have those pressure points. And also, if you look the way this thing is ridged, all the water drains right out of this kayak, so even if the seas start kicking up, and it's starting to deteriorate now as this front's coming through, there's still no problem if water gets in the, in the kayak. It just washes right out. Anyway, great day. Had fun. 